And the Dayton Air Show is preparing for large crowds this weekend, but medical experts are warning people about the dangers of being out in the heat. Two News reporter Madeline Ashley live at the Dayton International Airport with team coverage. Brooke, medical experts say to beat the heat, it's all about hydration. And with the Dayton Air Show this weekend, workers at the event say there will be ample amounts of water and shade. Trying to keep a lot of water uh, in your system is definitely sometimes a little challenging, especially when we have to get these things up quickly. But uh, water breaks every now and then and staying hydrated, it's uh, it's all part of the job. Helping set up the Dayton Air Show, Will Taylor says he and his team are staying on top of the high temperatures. Yeah, we have tons of coolers uh, filled with water and ice to keep us nice and nice and cool in the heat. One of the bigger concerns with the air show, and many of us were uh, have spent many many hours volunteering in that situation, and there is very little shade, and you need to take advantage of the the water that's there, cooling off, getting inside, um, and finding the first aid uh, tents when you need to. Dayton Air Show Safety Director Roger Doctor also wants people attending the show to monitor their bodies over the weekend. Understand you can't come out here and think you're going to be here for six hours in the heat and not drink water because you really have to have that. For Taylor, staying on top of his health and working long hours to prepare, worth it. It's all about perseverance and uh, getting it through. We know the goal and uh, we're excited to see the finished product. The Dayton Air Show will also feature medical units and medical experts say anyone that experiences headache, blur vision or any other forms of symptoms of dehydration to take advantage of those units. Levin Vandalia, Madeline Ashley, 5 on 2.